surrender the property, including any improvements to the authority. Well, unfortunately, in 2017, October of 2017, the airport authority, without any authorization by the Cabell County Commission, entered into a sublease changing that provision to provide that if the leases were terminated, the commission would have an obligation to reimburse the sublease for any improvements. That was done without any authorization by the Cabell County Commission. And as Mr. Clark noted, these issues didn't arise in the last week, in the last month. They've gone on for years. And the genesis was that 19, uh, 2017 summit. So at some point, the commission begins investigating the operation of the authority. The leases were required to be duly published in the newspaper under the West Virginia statute. That was not done. The statute requires the authority to make quarterly reports to the county commission. That's never been done. The statute requires the authority to make annual reports to the commission and to publicly and to publish those. That's never been done. So the issue before the commission today only involves whether or not to dissolve the authority. We're under West Virginia law that the commission has the authority to create, that the commission has the authority to create boards and authorities and commissions and to abolish those. And that the termination of the primary lease will terminate the sublease. But the resolution also provides that the commission in good faith will negotiate with Mr. Bailey for a fair lease because the commission has owned this property for 40 years, never gotten a dime. No rental payments, no real property taxes because the county commission owns the property. And last year, the only property tax paid was personal property tax in the amount of $142.93. So it's simply unfair to the taxpayers of the county to own property. And I, I've researched all other county airports state of West Virginia. No other county airport is operated in this fashion. You have publicly owned property that's being operated for private benefit. And Mr. Scar indicated that, in his opinion, the county doesn't have the legal authority to negotiate a lease with Mr. Bailey. But he also acknowledged that the county does have the authority to negotiate a contract or a lease with a nonprofit. And he said Mr. Bailey makes no profit. So perhaps there's a solution there. But that's the purpose, the sole purpose of the resolution is to dissolve the authority for purposes of negotiating hopefully a new lease. So the operation of the airport will continue. In the interim, Mr. Bailey is a holdover tenant. He will continue to operate the lease at the uh, airport as he's doing now. But uh, that's a, a summary of the history and the purpose of the resolution. Thank you very much.
point of information, he refers to a 2017 lease. There wasn't a 2017 lease, a sublease or a lease. It was recorded by mistake, but there was never a 2017 lease. So what didn't exist was recorded. Uh, that sort of twisted luck. Got recorded by accident because the at, at the time, let me give you a little verification clearance on that. In that lease, there was a uh, stipulation wanting 30 years plus a 10 year. By state statute, you can only have a maximum of 30 years. So when we discussed that with Bill Watson, the county attorney, he said you can't can't do that, so the county commission is not going to enter into a lease. The, Ca the Cabell County Airport Authority cannot give a lease that they don't have a lease on. So therefore, I informed Carl Bailey that the lease that uh, we had talked about could not be implemented. And by accident, the lease got recorded at, at the courthouse here. I didn't even know that recorded lease existed until Saturday. So there isn't a 2017 lease. You're still under the 2006 lease that was uh, signed by the president of the Cabell County Commission, uh, Scott Bias. And uh, that's the lease that is still in, in effect. You, you made my Correct. point. You made my point. The authority entered into a sublease, Mr. Bates. <laughs> no, we did, did not enter into it. You signed it, and it was recorded. It, it signed and got recorded, but it was by mistake. We were signing the, the leases, and then the lease from the county to the authority, they said we can't do that. Somehow that should have been destroyed, that sublease, but it wasn't. I didn't know that it had been recorded until I got an email on the thing on Saturday. And after that, Mr. Bailey took the position in negotiations with the commission through me that that was a valid sublease and that if it was terminated, the commission would have to reimburse him for improvements, even though from the get-go, it had been to the contrary. So I appreciate Now, what do you mean by the get-go? It was full intent. And, 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 and you keep saying that the, uh, the corporation that was originally set up was dissolved by not filing with the Secretary of State. Therefore, the county operated on a de facto basis ever since then under the rev the uh, section uh, 29 I believe it is of the, of the code that says that you don't have to be a, a public corporation as a matter of fact tri-state airport authority is not a public corporation it operates under the West Virginia code as uh, outlined in the code, all notices, the, the airport authority is made up of five members, two Democrats, two Republicans, and a representative from the county commission, which is Jim Morgan. The address of the Cabell County Airport Authority is the courthouse. So any notices or anything would come to the courthouse. And it would be up to them to notify us. We've never been notified. As far as making a report, we, over 27 years, the airport authority has never taken not one dollar in revenue. We do not have a bank account. We have never spent one dollar in expenses. So what is there to report? statute says you must report. Then why didn't the county commission inform us of that need 
and get it reported. You're sort of proving my point. The Sounds like a land grab. The authority has operated without con it was incorporated, allowed its corpor uh, corporate charter to be dissolved by the Secretary of State. It hasn't had proper meetings. It hasn't taken minutes. It no, hasn't no, wait a minute. We have had proper meetings. I asked for the minutes. I was provided no minutes. I, I also gave Jim Morgan the air, the, the last time that the uh, the uh, Campbell County Airport Authority met, we said that we would give you any records that we had, and he was to notify you that we would meet here, use the county's copying machine, and you could copy anything that you wanted. I, I never heard a word from him. I sent you two emails asking for the documentation. I've never received it. So I'm not going to get in the back and forth. I mean, the, the commission has a resolution before it, and you know, the commission can... Well, I hope they it. table that resolution. Plenty of right. Also, uh, I pretty much agree with what Mr. Clark said. Uh, and the minutes were there. We told Mr. Morgan that they could come here and copy them. i him copies. And I've only been on the Airport Authority Board for couple years but he said in 2017 the lease was changed to where Mr. Bailey would have to be reimbursed that is incorrect you've been told wrong that's been that way since 2006 when I signed it he has always been that he was going to be reimbursed for any expenses he put in it if it got shut down or closed or sold or whatever that's been that way from the very get-go since 2006 that's just not correct well it is correct I was the president of the commission. The intent. Matter of fact, if you look at the 2005 lease, it's in there. And then when the 2006, somehow it got omitted. <laughs>